the channel please like and subscribe the channel uh, this is the place where you can learn Microsoft Intune uh, and how to manage Windows Android iOS or Mac operating system in this uh, video I am going to show you about this new Android photo deployment which is actually it's in public preview mode but we'll see uh, how actually what is the use of this and how you can uh, update your firmware over the air through Microsoft Intune to your Android devices so where you have to go you have to go to the devices and uh, you you can scroll down and you can see the Android photo a uh, deployment right so you see use my Android photo deployment it's photo means firmware over the over the air uh, over to air right <clears throat> so you can update firmware over the air okay so deployment which can actually update the manufacturing specific firmware like Zebra Samsung and if you want to learn more you see currently there is no manufacturing character set up so we have to set up so if you want to learn more about this you can click and uh, the Microsoft link will open so since you have to set up the connector first so you see you just click on that and you see zebra connector is not set up it's not connected if you click on this you have to connect to your and here how you can set up the zebra connector this is the you can just follow this this is very easy okay so first you have to connect it like if you have a zebra if you have a zebra android devices you can set up the connector with microsoft intune and then you can force push the os updates now since we want to learn more something about this so i've just already opened this so you see what is the android photo updates so you can use this uh, microsoft intune to manage the software update on these android devices like if it's fully managed devices or dedicated devices or corporate own work profile so it's only for the company on devices you see there is no buid nothing there is we have we have two way to manage software updates one is use firmware over the air which works for some oem if in case firmware over the air is is not available you can always you can you always use device restriction profile which will work to all year so if you if you if you want to use photo which will only work for samsung or zebra but if it's not available you can always apply the restrictions profile so uh, device restriction profile offer actually control over how device handle over the air and allow you to set a freeze period of these updates okay not all device manufacturer support over their update so you can see so what is actually firmware over the air it's photo so photo updates actually this feature will allow remotely updating the firmware of devices using wireless connection right rather than the require the device to be connected to the network uh, a photo update can include software security patches right you know feature updates like windows machine we are patching or any other changes to the device firmware this is more efficient and convenient and more secure than manual updates and can be performed on a on-demand basis right so this is actually very nice if you have a large number of android devices or managing a, or using in your company owned devices you you should use this right so <clears throat> in addition microsoft intune support photo update management for supported devices from the following manufacturer okay the photo support may offer more control beyond what device restrictions profile offer so you see zebra and samsung only so you have to zebra lifeguard integration as i as i have shown you you have to integrate it and the samsung of course for samsung it's not free you have to buy a license and there are, are actually that you can activate the trial period of samsung nox e photo which is 90 days right uh, and the issue for 30 30 seats so you you can use it and you can try and explore this uh, but you have to buy the license okay 
these uh, these are the sites how you can uh, buy the license right there are many license we are talking about the samsung e photo which is yearly and it's a premium uh, i will show you there is important thing there are three editions of samsung e photo services samsung nox e photo nox e photo advanced and nox e photo on mdm so you can see here what all what all editions you, you want to use for your uh, organizations right so you see these all okay so make sure uh, you buying the license and then and then you, you can uh, the, the key features is force updates selective os version scheduled updates benefit is benefit of this using the software compatibility testing efficient rollout uh, and the eva if efficient device management right so this is the nox enterprise uh, you have to integrate it and this will give very good experience but the problem is you have to buy a license which actually they haven't mentioned and there is also an article mentioned here you see here this is from the on the microsoft tech community the microsoft e -Photo update management with and the e -Photo service is provided by and you see note microsoft e -Photo required licensing from samsung right so you have to just samsung.nox.com it need license right so what you have to do you have to <coughs> enroll your devices you have to create some dynamic groups you see there is a by model wise for samsung you can use this and most of you already know and then you have to register your application in azure portal right and then grant the api permissions graph api permission and have to note down the application id and directory id i have already shown in my video how you can register the application and get the client secret and new secrets so you see here you have to generate the new client secrets right and then you have to give uh, the api permissions these three api permissions and the right graph api permissions you see like this one i have already shown in some of my video and then you have to connect your uh, intune system by using this like client id client secret and tenant id right so once it, it will be connected then you can add the device group to 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 the e -Foda portal right so and the group will be synchronized every six hours device deleted from emn are deleted from e file. so all those devices once you connect your tenant with e uh, console and then you will see all these devices here right and then you can assign the device and patch the OS and you can select the firmware and push it over there and then if you want to automate this small process you can always go to the app OEM config right and you can also do it through enable e -Foda client storage so this is how uh, they I will put this link and the user will see this e -Foda has been installed and completed and you can also see in the e -Foda portal so try this but it, it's 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 very easy but you need a license and the only thing is you have to create a one groups buy a license and it's only for the company on devices generate this client id and secrets graph api permissions and integrate your uh, eFOTA portal to to the Intune and then you will see the devices and able to patch it I hope you learn how you can do that and try this uh, Android photo deployment test it at least because it's free for 90 days so and explore this till then thank you have a good day